Section 2.3, problem 47. Suppose that Javier has a handful of coins consisting of pennies, nickels, and dimes, worth $2.63. The number of nickels is one less than twice the number of pennies, and the number of dimes is three more than the number of nickels. How many coins of each kind does, she, does he have? So now let's start by setting up our variables. So let's let P be the number of pennies and be the number of nickels and d be the number of dimes now let's set up our equation we know that a penny is worth 0.01 and that a nickel is worth 0.05 and finally a dime is worth 0.10 so all that equals two dollars and sixty three cents. Now they're telling us that the number of nickels is one less than twice the number of pennies. So twice the number of pennies minus one, and that the number of dimes is three more than the num number of nickels. So the number of nickels it's two p minus one. Three more than that will be plus three. Now, all we're going to do is go back to our equation and substitute these values in there. So we have that 0.01p plus 0.05. Now, instead of n, it's going to be 2p minus 1 plus 0.10. Now, instead of d, it's going to be 2p minus 1 plus 3 equals 2.63. Now let's just go ahead and combine the like terms inside the parentheses. So here I have negative 1 plus 3 which is 2. Okay, so now we can get rid of the decimals by multiplying the whole equation times 100. So let's do that. So 0.01 times 100, it's 1. 0.05 times 100, it's 5. 0.10 times 100, it's 10. And 2.63 times 100, it's 263. Okay, now let's go ahead and distribute. So 5 times 2p, it's 10p. 5 times negative 1, it's negative 5. 10 times 2p, it's 20p. 10 times 2 is 20 equals 263. Now let's combine like terms. So 2p plus 10p, it's 11p plus 20p, it's 31p. Negative 5 plus is positive 15 equals 263. Now we have to isolate the P for that. We have to subtract 15 from both sides. So we get 30P equals 248. Then the last step will be dividing by 31 so p equals 8 now we found the number of pennies now we need to find out the number of nickels and the number of dimes therefore the number of nickels is 2p minus 1 which is 2 times 8 minus 1. Now, 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 1 it's 15. Okay, now let's find out the number of dimes. The number of dimes is 2p minus 1 plus 3, which is plus 2. Therefore, 2 times 8 plus 2, which is 2 times 8 is 16, plus 2, it's 18. Therefore, 
the number of pennies it's 8 the number of nickels it's 15 and the number of dimes equals 18.